Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a pin collection video. So I do have my pin collection banner here. So if you like these types of collection videos, please consider subscribing. I've done shoe collections, bag collections, clothing collections, room tours. So I will link those videos that I've just mentioned either in the I and in the description below if you want to go check those out too but today I will be going through my pin collection. This banner is actually from Spooky Box Club so it does have the string here like a piece of wood here and the material is actually a felt. You can buy this in their shop I believe but I think it's quite pricey if you're looking for like a cheaper one Mystic and Luna do one that's quite similar. The tassel has kind of done this <laughs> so yeah it has like come apart a little bit but I really like the design of this pin banner so yeah I will go into my pin collection now so as you can see I do have this one that's not on the pin banner the main pin banner that I just showed you and also I've got some on my jacket so I will be going through the ones on my jacket first just to kind of move it out the way so on the left hand side I do have four pins this one is an Audrey 2 pin that I got from Dolly Cool. I did do a whole like video on her shop from Etsy. So I will link that in the eye if you want to go and watch that. And then I have a few from Mysticum Luna. So this Deathhead Moth is from Mysticum Luna and so is this horror one. As you can see, I kind of have like a green theme going on here as I was in a super green mood when... I wore this jacket I think last spring maybe and this really cute skull is from Spooky Box Club again with the green glitter and then on the other side I have this Beetlejuice pin this could either be from Brighton or from Sheen or Shein they did have like a few Beetlejuice pins but I'm not sure where this one was from but i think you can find these on depop and ebay quite easily this one i think it's from the same place i might have got this one from brighton the small like alleyway shops they have so i think i got that one from there again these are quite easy to find too and this really cool plague doctor one is from ebay i think i bought this one for like three pounds and honestly the quality is super nice it is a black enamel pin with silver and i love all the stitched detail on it so i'm sure you can definitely find this one i will link all that i can find below so those are the four that i have on my jacket there so now i will move on to the pin banner so this pin i got more recently from spooky box club it says carp or carpe Noctum, I think someone reminded me in the comments. I really, really like this pin. Not sure if I want to put it on my jacket quite yet because when I do go back to wearing my jacket in the spring, I'll probably have a mix up of the pins. So I am kind of saving this one to go on there maybe. So I do have that. Again, I will link my Spooky Box Club video where I did show this one too. And then this is my pin collection. I will just give you kind of a overview of it. These are from quite a selection of shops. The majority are probably Spooky Box Club and Mysticum Luna as I did do the pin scription unboxings for quite a long time but I will go kind of from the top and then work my way down. This one is actually from neither of these shops and I did win this in a giveaway on Instagram. It was kind of my second giveaway that I won and I was super pleased because they were all kind of spooky Disney themed so this is a Mickey Mouse poison apple pin I can't remember the name of the shop but I will leave it on the screen like at the top here this again I won in that giveaway and it is the haunted mansion I think this is more of the Disneyland haunted mansion rather than Disney World because I've been to the haunted mansion in Disney World Florida and it doesn't really look like this but yeah, so I do have this pin and this is a really, really large pin. So I was super happy to win these two. Going along, this is a Ghost Stories book pin from Spooky Box Club. This is quite obvious. This is from Mysticum Luna. 
This one, I wasn't actually sure if I liked it, but it does say, till death we do art. And I figured as I am in art school, that is kind of fitting. And this one was from Sheen, I believe. I think they did like a pack of three pins for like three pounds, which was really cool. And then in this corner, there is a skull with red glittery heart eyes from Mysticum Luna. This one I bought from Berlin when I went on a trip when I had my foundation art course and we went to Berlin to see the art and the history and this is a sign they put up. I can't remember the exact like history behind it but th I do have that one. And then further down this one was definitely from Spooky Box Club and I think this was in the kind of writing reading box and it is a skeleton hand with a feather with this blood drop here which is why i've put it with all the kind of red <laughs> themed pins this one is the haunted bats pin that she made with chris miners saying year of the bat lots of detail in this one moving along i have this spooky box club pumpkin and then below it i do also have a mysticum luna pumpkin too honestly i kind of prefer this one i really love the glittery orange I don't know if you could still get this one but I think they sell like a pumpkin like this but with red detailing. And then further along I have this Time to Hibernate wintry jumper with bats and stars on from the Spooky Box Club and if you're a Pirates of the Caribbean fan you'll know that this is Jack Sparrow's flag. So obviously I did get this from Disneyland. Another Disney one I have this Maleficent one this is super detailed. So it has an ornate frame with kind of dragons and thorns on with kind of this light pink and blue background with Maleficent so that's a super detailed one that's quite a big pin too next to that I have a spooky box club bat and this one is also from spooky box club and it says bite me in a heart with another bat this one is a funerals and cremations pin from spooky box club I'm not sure if this is necessarily one I'd wear out. I don't know if I'd feel comfortable wearing that out, but I do like the kind of general look of it and it matches some other pins that I have. So I do like this pin, even though it is a bit morbid. <laughs> and then this is another pin that I won along with these two. And it's a ghost wearing the Mickey Mouse ears, which I just think is adorable and he's so happy. I'd love this as a necklace, it's just so cute. And then I have a Christmas holly leaf one with some red berries from Mysticum Luna. Again, another pumpkin one. So when I subscribed, I actually got this pin in a pin description and it is kind of exactly the same design, but it is a black enamel pin with silver detailing. But I always wanted this one, so I did go back and buy this one from their shop. And kind of finishing off the red corner... I have this Blood of My Enemies one from Mysticum Luna, which is a really nice detailed pin, again with the red glitter. And also this bat from Mysticum Luna, which was actually my first pinscription pin. It's a bat with a red cross here, so really like that one. But that is kind of the top half of the pin banner. So starting here. I have this rose from Mysticum Luna, as you can see it is more of a matte black rather than the shiny one, but I think that's really elegant and perfect for more Victorian outfits. Again, another one from Mysticum Luna. This one is so detailed, so it is all the star signs. So it has like the name here, the sign, and then I don't know the name of like the smaller ones. But as you can see, it's a super detailed pin. Next to that, if my camera focuses. I have this I'll Sleep When I'm Dead, which was from a Spooky Box Club box that I did unbox on my channel. I did get Spooky Box Club a lot before I started my channel, which is why I have kind of a lot of their first pins that they made. This one I really, really like, and I feel like it fits in with this so well. And then moving along, I have this more dead than alive pin again it's not really one of my favorites but i did get it in that pack with the art one up here and i feel like it fits in nicely with this dead cute one from spooky box club kind of a, a mini lavender theme going on i have this one which i bought from disney again and it says now and forever and it's a jack and sally one so that's super super cute 
on this side again from Disney I have this Jack Skellington one and it is also in the style of the Haunted Mansion paintings that stretch when you're in the room again super super detailed and I love how there's a pumpkin and a spider and then a what's that is that a ghost no it's a bat <laughs> it has a bat there and a skull so I really, really like that pin. I did do a haul on both of these in a, I think it was my Disney haul, so I will link that one. Another pin from Spooky Box Club, this kind of Victorian key. I'll start from this side again. So I do have this Your Fate, again, obviously Mysticum Luna. I think I bought this one rather than getting it in a pinscription. I've got this Tell Me a Ghost Story one from Spooky Box Club. These two really, like, go well together. They're both kind of the same aesthetic. This, I have to say, is probably my favourite pin that I own. <laughs> As you can tell, I am a Haunted Mansion fan. And I bought this pin from a company called Lively Ghosts. I did do a video on them, which I'll link in the eye if you want to go and watch it. And they are a company based in America, but they do some really cool detailed pins. And this one is obviously Haunted Mansion themed. And it's got the gargoyles. And it says Foolish Mortal. It does have this really nice kind of matte shine to it. So from afar, it stands out like super well, like more than this one, because it is a bit brighter. So I would say that is definitely my favourite pin on here. I've got this mini witchcraft pin which was one of my first pins from Mysticum Luna that I bought. This one is also from Mysticum Luna, you're literally going to get bored of me saying that. But yeah, I really like this one, how bold it is. Again, Mysticum Luna. A sword with a rose and some chains. I just thought that these two, because they're quite long, looked really nice together. This one is actually from Sheen and I think I got it with the Beetlejuice pin maybe but it is Lydia even though they're not allowed to like advertise that but it was part of the Beetlejuice range this again is one of my favorite ones and it's called the no sleep pin from spooky box just because of the kind of Tim Burton aesthetic it has going on so there's someone sleeping with the skeleton hand another hand this kind of tentacle looking thing that kind of gives it that Tim Burton vibe but yeah really really love this one even though it is a more colourful pin. I've got this pin that you'll have seen in my Sourpuss haul that I did actually get a refund on because it had these scratches on. I do keep it on there and I realise that it does actually glow in the dark but as you can see it's still like uh, not the best quality but I do think the ghost is really cute but can't say it's a pin I would necessarily recommend. And then I have this witch one, which came in the same box as the bat, which was my first pinscription. It is kind of like a mirrored one. And then kind of in the last section here, I've got this poison apple pin. Again, this white part glows in the dark. It's a similar material to the sourpuss one. This one again is from Lively Ghosts, which I ordered along with the Foolish Mortal pin. Really like this one. And they do also do these in different colours. So you can get this white part in like green glitter, red glitter, orange glitter, uh, neon, glow in the dark, like anything. So if you're a Snow White fan and you like the Poison Apple, they do some really cool designs for that. Another Spooky Box Club one with a purple hat, like a witch hat with moons on. I think this is again from Spooky Box Club and it's this broomstick one. Kind of one of their more simple designs because it was one of their first pins they did. This one is Spooky Box Club, I believe. Again, one of their first pins that they did when like I subscribed. And then I've got this at rest brooch again from Spooky Box Club. I think this was like a Victorian box. So this one is a brooch rather than a pin. But I felt like it fit there really nicely because it does kind of go with these three. And I think it's like a super elegant design. The moon is actually part of the banner, so that's not a pin. And then I've got this crazy bat lady, which is from Mysticum Luna. Kind of one of their smaller pins. And then also this 666 one. And this one was also from Mysticum Luna. 
the last three now, I believe, unless I've missed any, which I don't think I have. This shoe is from Mystic and Luna. And I really love that it's got a dagger. I think I got that in like a mystery bag from them. I have this scythe again from Mystic and Luna. And it's got like this really cool silver glitter on it. Which is really cool. And last but not least, I have this Death Head Moth pin. It is all silver and I believe this one is from Spooky Box Club because it is kind of the same material as this. So they do have quite a few silver ones that they like to make. But this one is super pretty. Lots and lots of detail on it too. So that is my pin collection. So I hope you enjoyed my pin collection video. Let me know what pins you have and if I forgot to mention where one of them was from, hopefully I don't, but if I did, leave it in the comments section below. I will have the main shops linked in the description box below if you want to go and see if they still have those pins that I've showed you. Hope you enjoyed this video like it if you did as i said comment down below please consider subscribing if you like these types of videos and also press the notification bell and i will see you in my next one bye